What do we got? People Daniela got Chuck on Twitter. Who? Daniela underscore Chuck. As if I'm going to know who that you, is. Yeah. Oh, Daniela. Oh, Daniela. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. She, yeah, yeah. She's on Twitter, and she asks, was diagnosing Dennis with borderline personality disorder uh, something you had in mind since the earlier seasons, and why did you choose in season 10 to make it official? Mm. See, I hesitate to, to get too deep into this because, um, you know, mental conditions like that are very serious, and I'm not making a joke at all. Um, I, no, we did not know that that was where we were headed with the character, and I would say, you know, not to burst anybody's bubble here, but, you know, that was a very quick diagnosis made by, uh, in an office with a, a, a psychiatrist that we had this one scene with, you know, so I don't know that that's a very, a totally accurate uh, diagnosis. Like, you're not sure he has I, borderline. I, I, I yeah, I, 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 I'm not. You know, I have, I have a weirdly, you know, I play the character and I write the character and I have a, a, a sometimes a different view on the character than, than most people do. And even as we, as we portray him as this sort of sociopath on the show, um, I don't think he is. Hmm. I don't think he is. Uh, at Glenn, another two and Glenn. Hmm. Glenn Hove, a two V Hove. Okay. On Twitter, he asks, have you ever thought about playing a really serious role? I mean, the, the short answer is yes. I, I you have a weight to you. I would believe you, uh, don't take this the wrong way, uh, you could play someone dangerous. Yeah. I would buy that. I approach, I approach, I try to approach comedy from a very real um, place. And this is, uh, again, like I, I think that, like a lot of times like when I'm having a serious conversation with somebody who only really knows me from the show, they can't tell when I'm joking or not because... Uh -huh. Uh, and uh, so I, so I feel like I that. have to. I feel like I have to preface this by saying I'm being serious. Uh, but I, I, I do. I try to approach everything from a from a very real place. Like even when it's comedy, um, even when it's broad or big or or wacky or crazy, right. it, it's got to come from a very real place uh, for me. And I, I I I think that comes through on Sunny. Like you know when when I play when Dennis is angry, like I. He's angry. He's angry. You're not doing a, a comedy. I'm angry. not doing a bit. I'm, yeah. I'm angry. And that's why it's funny. I, that's why I think it's funny. That's what I think is and funny. And then if we just nudged you into a, a, a cop drama. Well, it's like the Alec Baldwin thing. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm a great admirer of his, and, and I think like guys like him and, and Jason Bateman and Ted Danson, some of, some of these guys that I think are some of the best straight men comedy actors, there's a very, very tiny difference between a dramatic performance. Yeah. from Alec Baldwin and a comedic performance. It's a dr there's dramatic Alec Baldwin. He dials it up just ever so slightly and it becomes comedic Alec Baldwin, but they're almost that's, indistinguishable. That's yeah, there's like a pacing thing. Yeah. I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah, yeah. dramatic yeah. Alec Baldwin is a slower comedic Alec Baldwin. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's no, but there's a rhythm to it. There's, yeah, I think the rhythm changes a little bit. Maybe slight, some of the emphasis changes. And obviously the dialogue is funny. So right. you don't really have to do that much other than mean it. If the character's intention is something sort of strange and comedic, right. you play it with, with dramatic emphasis and it's, it becomes funny. Well, I'd love to see it. Uh, uh, this guy, this person, Mitz Kia Sip. No, that's not a real person, but go ahead. Mitz Kia Skip. Um, I'm just kidding. They ask, uh, would you ever want to be a direct, uh, would you ever want to direct or write your own movie? Is directing something you'd be interested in doing in the future? Yeah, you know, I've thought about it. I mean, I, 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 we do a lot of directing. You never direct, Sonny? It's tough because we, we direct in big blocks. So we, we take entire blocks of episodes, like five episodes, and we, we have one director direct them all at once often. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be too much to take on since we're writing and producing and starring in. Um, but... Um, you know, I think I probably will direct in the future. Um, I haven't had as much interest in the technical aspects of directing in the past. Okay. Um, but I love working with actors, and we've been doing that. I mean, we do that. I do that on Sunny and have done for years. Is, you know. um, last and uh, social media question for mm -hmm. you, Glenn. Taco Inhaler. He made the show. Mm -hmm. Taco Inhaler. <laughs> Has Dennis ever killed anyone? You know, look, I, ca I can't answer that. <laughs> I mean, I can't. Because you, you don't want to... Look, I, I, I do have my own thoughts on that. Yeah. But I think this is one of those things that... <laughs> See, you think I'm joking, and I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm enjoying. I think this is one of those things that is best left up to the imagination. Um, okay. And... Can we do this? Yeah, sure. Well, this will be uh, Always Sunny scene. Okay. We're in a pet store. <laughs> and uh, I'm the pet guy, and you want to buy a parrot. Okay. Take one, you haven't killed anybody. You're Dennis, you haven't killed anybody. Okay. Ready? Okay, yeah. And action. Hi. Hey. Uh, I'm sorry, do you work here? Yeah, I'm, I'm usually behind the counter, but... 
Somebody's got to restock well, this to dog food. Whole, you, don't, <laughs> oh. you don't have to go into a whole thing. I don't Sorry. Know, need your whole I story. do apologize. Yeah, thank you. Um, listen, I'm wondering if you have parrots. Uh, no, this is not not an exotic pet store. We have like dog food, cat food. Mm -hmm. But parrots are a pet that most people have, right? Maybe on the seven seas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's funny, but, but the truth is a lot of people are going to want parrots from you, and I don't understand why you don't have parrots. All right, that's take one. That's take one. Okay. Take two. You have your dentist, and you've definitely killed at least three people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Not recently. But Not recently. In, in your past. It, in yeah, your at past. some point, I've killed three people. <laughs> Okay, all right, yes. ready? As per Taco and Hillary's question. All right, all right. ready? Yeah. Hi, excuse me. Do oh. I work here? Yeah, I'm usually behind the counter. Somebody's got to restock. Yeah, good it. for you. Um, do you have parrots at this, uh, at this pet store? <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't even straight face. You saw it, right? I saw it. You saw it. Because that guy. Did you see that me guy, be yeah. afraid? Yeah. Well, that guy doesn't want it. That guy wants to make sure that you don't give him the wrong answer. You know what I mean? Like, I this was, is a guy who's yes. like, I don't, like, don't, you need to give me the right answer here. You know what I mean? Because there's danger. I feel like the pet guy would say, let me check in the back and would leave. Yeah, he'd, he'd jump out <laughs> he'd the window. Go home. He'd jump out the tiniest window, whatever it took. <laughs> it's one of those bathrooms that just has like a little window and he's got to <laughs> kind of squeeze through it. He's putting hand soap yeah. to lube it up. Right. <laughs> Get a running start. Yeah. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.